Hi folks, Rodney back again with Rodney's Northwest Ride and Reviews. I waited a while to get this, but I finally got my new Tacoma. It just came in. Um, honestly, I was going to get a different color. Uh, we had a couple of them that were coming in, and I was looking for certain equipment. Now, here on the West Coast, we haven't really received, and I say we haven't, we haven't, as our dealership, hasn't received any allocations for the TRD Off-Road Premium Package yet. Uh, still haven't seen an allocation, so don't know how soon it would be before we actually get one. And that's what I was really wanting. Um, but then again, I didn't know if it was going to be months down the road, so I just got a little impatient. They said, I'm going to go in and get this TRD Off-Road with the upgrade package. Um, it's got most of the equipment, and I'll kind of go over that here in just a moment, but it has most of the equipment that you get with the premium package. The couple things that it is missing is it doesn't have the Softex interior. Uh, it doesn't have the 14-inch screen and the panorama view monitor. Other than those features, uh, it does have most of the, the features that you would find in the premium package. And So like I said, I'll go in depth here in a moment, but this is the supersonic red. Uh, actually, it is a pearl base, and so it really comes out in the sunlight, but it's got a little metal flake to it, uh, but it does have a pearl base to it, and so it really looks like a deep color. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not big on red. Uh, my son wanted this color and so we decided we'd give it a shot. Uh, but anyway, up front, um, you know, you've got the redesign. Of course, for anybody who hasn't seen, and I know you've probably seen all the videos already, but it is a four-cylinder turbo, uh, 278 horsepower, 317 foot-pounds of torque. Um, I haven't had an opportunity to really drive it yet. I've driven it around the block. I've driven a couple others out on the highway for just a few miles and I'll get a, a better experience as time goes on. Um, but this is something that I'll have long-term. And when I say long-term, at least two years, uh, you know, unlike most of the other uh, channels that are, you know, just buy something just to make some videos and then go on to something different. Uh, but I'll give you a true ownership experience, um, you know, initial impressions. And as time goes on, I'll give you updates. Uh, if you've been, you know, subscribe to the channel. I have a 2022 Tundra that I'm actually, my lease is up, and so I'm turning it back in. And I have really loved that truck. And so the Tacoma is kind of a mini Tundra. And there's a lot of things that uh, I'll kind of go over as time goes on and kind of explain the similarities, uh, but then also talk about some of the major differences. So, you know, up front, uh, you do have, it does reminiscent of a regular Tacoma. I mean, you've got the grill that, you know, when you see it coming down the road, you're like, oh, that's a Tacoma. Um, but it does have the high definition LED headlamps. Um, it does have the, the LED fog lights, and that's on every model that you get. Now, the TRD Pro and the Trail Hunter, they do have specific rigid fog lights, and uh, that is an upgrade. Unfortunately, they're not available on the other models. So, it does have parking sensors, both front and rear. Um, your sensor here for part of your Safety Sense 3.0 uh, is down there instead of up in the the grill where they had it before obviously you notice that it does not have the air dam that you see on the sport models or even the sr5 it does have a composite skid plate not real excited about it quite honestly i don't know how much uh, protection that's going to give you uh, but it does have it under the the front there you've also got it under the transfer case and then also under the gas tank um, and someday when I get an opportunity, I'll catch one that's going through the shop and I'll get up underneath it and kind of give you a view. I wanted to do it on this one today, but unfortunately I didn't get over there in time to, to get the, uh, the view that I wanted. So, uh, but anyway, uh, like I said, as time goes on, we'll do that. Um, I like the color scheme myself, the supersonic red with the, you know, overlay emblems and then of course the black handles and the black flares. Uh, it all kind of ties in together and looks real well. One of the things I wasn't sure about before I got the truck is I didn't know if it was going to have the overlay emblems on it. And funny enough, they're all coming in that way. Now, the one thing that is optional is the insert that goes in the, the tailgate. And so I've got that on order. The other thing, too, is that they come with floor mats. And I know it doesn't say it anywhere on the, on the uh, TSRP or the manufacturer's suggest a retail price sticker. Um, you know, window sticker, a lot of people call it. Uh, it doesn't have that on the sticker uh, anywhere about floor mats, but they are coming standard with them with the, the TRD Off-Road and the TRD Sport. The SR5 that we got in the other day did not have any floor mats in it at all. So this one does have the bed step. 
makes it easy to get in and out of the, the bed and then it tucks up out of the way when you're not using it. You have your four pin and seven pin wiring harness. Uh, now I mentioned this before. So on my Tundra, you don't have a you don't have a lock on the tailgate and so now you have to have the key fob with you or the vehicle has to be unlocked so that you can open the tailgate it does have an anti-slam assist this one does have a spray on bed liner in it and a lot of people were like well why do you need a spray on bed liner if it has a composite bed in it and so the one thing i mentioned before is that the composite bed is pretty slick and so this has a little texture to it, so not only is it going to help protect the bed, uh, but it will also uh, help prevent things from sliding around there as much. You do have the 110 outlet, so you have both a 100 and 400 watt. You got a little storage compartment in there. On this side over here, you got a little storage compartment, but you also have the regular 12 volt, 12 volt cigarette lighter type plug-in. Uh, then you've also got a USB port there. Um, get plug in as well uh, so the TRD off-road with the upgrade package does come with standard with the LED bed lights now I've got a tonneau cover that is already I have it sitting at home um, and honestly there wasn't many tonneau covers that were available this time around instead of a trifold I actually did get a sliding bed cover and uh, I'll, I'll put that on hopefully this week and kind of give you an idea of what I really think about that. Uh, for myself, if anybody's not seen the channel before, I ride dirt bikes. And so it makes it nice and convenient for me to be able to put all my stuff in the back and secure my tools and, and you know any gear that I bring with me can be secured in the back. Um, so that's kind of the, the exterior of the vehicle. So now I'm gonna jump inside and kind of go over some of the options inside. Um, there is some kind of Easter eggs here. So you got says Tacoma in the headlight there. I like how they, it has a black housing. Um, seemed like I saw someone else. Oh, it says Toyota trucks right there. So there's another one there. But as I find them, I'll go ahead and point them out to you. So let's jump inside. Before we jump inside, one thing, one thing I wanted to show you is, uh, so when you have the key fob with you, if you want to lock the doors, put your finger or thumb on the doors and it locks all the doors. If you put your hand on the inside of the handle, it will unlock the door. It's set to only do the driver's door first, uh, but if you wait long enough, it will actually open the rest or unlock the rest of the doors. Power windows, power locks, uh, does have a rubber handle here. Now, most of this, you do have some soft padding there, but this up here is just hard. And I know one of the things that I did not care for on the Tundra is that where you were at in seating position, a lot of times you would rest your arm up here and it actually was a little sore on the uh, inside of the elbow uh, just because it's not soft. Um, but anyway, this is. You got a little cubby holes or areas to put stuff in there. You got cup holders. Does have uh, power seats on both the driver and passenger side. You've got some auxiliary switches that can be put in here. Um, you have manual adjusting headlights. So when you're towing a trailer, a lot of times the back end will squat and your head, headlights are shining off in the sky. So you can manually adjust those and that's one of the things that they had on the Tundra which made it kind of nice. Um, this here has SOS on the outside. And I haven't done it myself, but I'm told that if you scan that barcode right there or the QR code, I think it comes back and it says badass truck. Um, but anyway, I'll find out later and it, I think it welcomes you to the Toyota truck club um, So anyway, let's jump inside here I'm gonna go on ahead and start it up So everybody has mentioned that the the vehicle is is quiet uh, the seats are comfortable you definitely have a different seating position. Uh, now I've had two, two Tacomas in the past and the seating position is a lot more upright and you feel like you're higher up where your legs, your legs uh, just kind of, you know, rest at more of an angle instead of your legs being kind of straight out. I remember, you know, long drives on the other trucks, uh, my legs would kind of cramp up or feel like they were going numb or something. But uh, you do have heated steering wheel in this package. You got your heated seats. They've done away with the, I'm gonna to turn this fan down. They've done away with 
the dual climate control and I wish that they hadn't um, I'm sure it's probably just a cost savings I think now the only way you can get the dual climate control is to go with the premium package and uh, so it is what it is unfortunately uh, you got your Qi wireless charging here I haven't had an opportunity to really try it out yet one of the things in my Tundra that I did not care for is that it never seemed to work very well you could put your phone in there and it would start charging in, a, in less than probably 30 seconds later it would stop charging uh, so the only way you could ever really get it to charge was by you know plugging it in and that kind of defeats the purpose of having the Qi wireless system I didn't know this was going to come this way but you actually have home link on the bottom of the mirror and that's kind of a really cool feature um, it does have a power sliding window uh, obviously the power sliding window is small does have the sunroof. One of the things I kind of wondered about, and obviously I'm not tall by any means, I'm only 5'10", but for people who, you know, you have quite a bit of headroom in here, but for somebody who is, uh, you know, already concerned about headroom and they're tall, I wonder if the, the sunroof would probably take away a little bit from your uh, clearance there. All right, you do have the dual cluster here and you can actually adjust or or I should say customize what you see in each one of those so you got your tachometer on this side speedometer on the other side but you also have a digital speedometer there too um, it, obviously the average right now is 7.9 you see it has 16 miles and probably 90 percent of the time it's just been idling um, so anyway uh, that will definitely change as soon as I fill it up with gas uh, I like being able to see, you know, you have the, the turbo as far as turbo boost there, but you can customize on both sides what you'd like to see. And you actually have three different chapters, if you will. So there's like three different profiles where you could put in what you want on both sides. So, you know, if you're towing a trailer and you want to see certain things, or if you're just, you know, regular daily driving and you want to see something different, it's definitely set up to do that. All right, it does come with a uh, remote connect. Um, so that's going to be free for a year and then you're going to have the subscription that you can subscribe to um, on this model unfortunately it does not come with the built-in nav or doesn't come with the navigation as part of your subscription so i'm having to run apple carplay on my tundra i was really quite frustrated because a lot of times when you get inside the vehicle <coughs> excuse me and you go to start it up sometimes the apple carplay would automatically connect and no issues There'll be other times where you get in and it's not connecting. And because you're running Apple CarPlay, it takes over uh, instead of just running Bluetooth. So when that happens and it's not connecting to the Apple CarPlay, you don't have any uh, Bluetooth access either. And so if a phone call was to come in, you're not connected to the vehicle. The only way I found to really fix that is sometimes you can go in, you hit your settings menu here, you go to Bluetooth devices, click on your your phone and then you could hit if it was disconnected you could hit connect and sometimes it would connect but a lot of times the only way I could get it to to reconnect is actually stop the vehicle turn the vehicle off uh, start it back up and wait for a second and then it would automatically connect so obviously that is a glitch that they have had with that system um, and I've seen some reviews on the new Tacoma and they're saying the same thing so be aware of that um, I think personally I would rather have the, the navigation uh, that you can get with the vehicle, but a lot of people are already used to using the CarPlay or Android Auto, and so I get it. So, the stereo system. I've not heard many people talk about the JBO audio system, and I've heard a lot of people like, well, that's a waste of money because you don't really get anything, or I've heard other people say, well, yeah, you got a $4,600 speaker because that's what the upgrade package costs. <coughs> I've listened to the SR5. I've also listened to another uh, Tacoma TRD off-road with just a standard stereo system. And the JBL does sound a lot better. Um, you can take that speaker out. It will still continue to play, but you can obviously, you're losing a lot of your, um, probably more mid than you do high. Um, but it definitely makes a difference when you take out and then obviously you can take it with you. Uh, you do have the Bluetooth speaker that you can use for whatever you want. So. Don't lose that, you know, I would imagine it is probably somewhere around $250 to $300 to replace that. Um, but it uh, obviously would be expensive to probably replace, uh, so you wanna take care of it. 
Um, you do have your sunroof, so it will open and close. Um, your shade, I believe, I'm gonna find out, just like any others, will automatically open when you open it up, but then you do have to manually close it. You do have adjustable visors with vanity mirrors on both the driver and passenger side. Um, grab handle. This grab handle is actually really solid. You know, a lot of times people have talked about, well, I don't know how solid that's going to be and what good is it for. Uh, but it has a rubber finish to it. I really like it. Um, you do have a place to either put a trash bag or you know, maybe women can put their purse on there and hold the, the straps. Um, in the back, a lot of people have talked about uh, legroom. And they've actually done tests where, you know, and measured. It's, oh, I think it's 32.7 inches of legroom. And it's not any smaller than the other models, uh, or should say previous gen. But I think what makes a big difference is the way that pillar is at right there on the door. It makes it look like it's smaller inside. And it probably would have been nice had you had a little more visibility going out the side view. Um, but it's not any smaller than last year's or the previous gen version. All right, the rear seat, if anybody has not shown you that before, the headrest can come out. Um, you actually have more visibility out the back now than what you have in the past, but you can lay that back uh, backrest down and it gives you a flat surface so you can store stuff on top of it. I'll jump out here in just a moment and show you what you have for, for uh, storage underneath. Some people have talked about glove box. It does seem a little weird that they would have a glove box that doesn't sit firm. Um, just your storage size or your standard size rather. Got a little cubby hole here. You do have a grab handle there. It does not go all the way through. Kind of strange why they would do it that way. Uh, but I guess if you were just kind of reaching in, all you need to do is grab it and just kind of hoist, hoist yourself in. Um, but anyway, that's the way it's set up. Uh, if you want to take out the JBL speaker, it does come right out. Like I said, the stereo will continue to play. Uh, it is a heavy speaker. Um, so it's got to be got to be a decent speaker I would imagine and it sounds good with the stereo so and then when you put it back in you just pop it back in place all right let's jump in the back real quick and I'll show you the storage the doors do sound solid it doesn't sound tinny by any means the bottom seat cushions will fold up. Um, you do have the ability to strap them here to hold them in place. Um, here's your storage space. The tier D off-roads with the upgrade package will come with the, the D-ring tie downs. This is a plastic surface, it's not rubber. Uh, so anything you have in there may slide around a little bit. Not real excited about that. You may have to put something in there to prevent that from happening. You do have uh, JBL subwoofers right back here, so you don't have much space on this side. You do have your jack and handle is gonna be on that side over there. Um, if I haven't mentioned it, and I don't think that I have, the rear view window does have a defrost, defrost in it. Um, so you'll have heated mirrors, but they'll also be tied in with your rear window defroster. And then, like I said, you can take the headrest out and this back cushion or back seat cushion will actually lie down flat and you can store stuff on top of that. Uh, back here you do have a 110 outlet and then you've also got the old cigarette lighter type outlet as well. And like I said, it comes with the carpeted floor mats. Really wish they hadn't done that, you know, obviously here in the Northwest because it rains so much and we're in the dirt all the time. Um, carpeted floor mats just get tore up, so we're going to end up having to put in some all-weather floor mats. You can't tell it, but I want to show you something here. It's funny, when I get in and I look at it, I can't tell, but when the sunlight hits this, it's actually kind of a bronze color. Um, when you get in the truck any other time, you don't notice it, but you notice it in the sunlight. So that's kind of a, just a brief rundown. Um, I know a lot of videos are out there now, but like I said, I'll start giving you some, some ongoing 
uh, just you know what I think as time goes on talk about driving impressions here you know shortly and then uh, give you long-term updates as well so thanks for watching if you guys have any questions any comments go ahead and send them my way take the time to like and subscribe if you'd like to see that ongoing content uh, I will also send or start making videos on other models that we get in as well I've already done one on an SR5 uh, but then we got some sports that come in too so thanks again